There are few things I fear more than water. Many well-intentioned and well-trained men have tried to teach me to swim, but I've frustrated them and me. I'm still scared senseless of water. But I'm not alone, and neither is water. According to one top ten list, people fear thunder and lightning, dogs, mice and other rodents, enclosed spaces, spiders and other insects, flying, snakes, the dentist, heights, and number one, public speaking. People would rather fight off snakes and spiders in a dentist's chair than preach on a Sunday morning. The mere mention of the word fear incites fear. Blood pressure rises, hearts race. But everything on that list deals with the here and now. There's no mention of God or eternity. But you can't even make it to the begats in your Bible reading without coming face to face with the phrase, the fear of the Lord. Hello, everyone. This is L.J. Harry, and this is Simplify. Come with me to a mountain in the middle of the desert. You can bring this book with you. It's just us and about two million other people around us. That's all. If you're afraid of big crowds, you might want to check out of the story now. God has just delivered us from the heavy hand of heartless taskmasters. We don't have to build treasure cities for Pharaoh anymore. We'll never again feel the searing sting of Egypt's whips on our backs or watch helplessly as our helpless baby boys and girls drown in the Nile. God has delivered us from Egypt and brought us to this mountain in the desert. Then suddenly, something miraculous and marvelous happens. That massive Mount Sinai is engulfed in smoke and begins to quake. Then we hear the blast of a trumpet loud and long, and God himself begins to speak. He gives us his own top ten list to live by. Thunder rolls, lightning flashes, a trumpet bellows, smoke billows. In Exodus 20, verses 18 and 19, Reads, now all the people witnessed the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. (laughs) And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, you speak with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. Their knees were knocking so loud it sounded like a team of horses dancing on concrete. Moses responded to their request, fear not. It's easy for you, Moses. You're the one with the magic wand that opens oceans. Fear not, for God has come to test you that his fear may be before you, so you will not sin. God didn't want his people to run from him. He wanted them to run from sin. I don't believe God wants us to be afraid of him, but he does want us to be in awe of him, to revere him, to fear him. And the fear of the Lord will keep us from sinning whether we're behind closed doors in front of a smartphone screen or we're in broad daylight in front of everybody. The fear of the Lord will curb what we say to and about each other, whether face-to-face or on Facebook. The fear of the Lord will help us stay calm when we're angry and help us stay pure when we're tempted. And the fear of the Lord will help us worship whether we like the songs or even know the songs. We don't worship because we feel God. We worship because we fear God. The fear of the Lord will determine what we watch and listen to and where we go and how we dress and why we dress, how we dress. It's not just because our church says so. It's because we fear the Lord and we want to please Him. Israel fumbled the fear of the Lord and fell into unspeakable sin. They lost their awe of God and lost out with God. It's absolutely possible for us to do the same. My prayer for you and God's great church is God please baptize us with a fresh fear of the Lord. Let's pray that together. God, please baptize us with a fresh fear of the Lord. Please help us to revere and fear you once again. Please forgive us if we have become too casual or cavalier with you. Please forgive us if we have lost our fear of you. Help us to see you as you really are. You are the Almighty God, maker of heaven and earth, and we are your people. Revive the fear of the Lord within us and keep us from sin. Help us to be holy like you. In your awesome name, amen. When I was growing up as a Christian, I grew up with a pretty awesome fear of being lost. I had a pretty hefty fear of going to hell. And that was one of the motivations for me to want to be born again and want to be right with God.
But of course, as you know and as I know, fear may be a great entry, but it will not be powerful enough to keep us, powerful enough to get us there, but not powerful enough to keep us there. And so my prayer is that we would have a fear of the Lord in such that we would revere him, respect him, be in awe of him, be amazed by him. At the same time, that we would have such a relationship with God that we would love him to the degree that we want to please him, not because we're afraid he's going to strike us with lightning, but because we're afraid we may hurt him if we sin. I pray that for this generation, a generation that doesn't fear a whole lot, but that we would have this healthy and reverent awe of the awesome presence of Almighty God. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Simplify. If you have enjoyed it, you can purchase a copy of the Devotion Simplify. We have it on PentecostalPublishing.com, where you can purchase it in print or in Kindle. Or if you live in the Colonial Mount Vernon, Ohio area, you can purchase it at our local bookstore, Paragraphs, located on South Main Street. I want to thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy the episode of Simplify, and if you're listening to it, whether on social media or any other means, you're welcome to let me know. My handle is LJ and Andrea, L-J-A-N-D-A-N-D-R-E-A. That's on Twitter and Instagram, and my Facebook is LJ.Harry. I look forward to talking to you next week. Next week, I'm going to tell you a story about the value of $3. It's a whole lot more valuable than just 3 bucks, and you'll find out more about that when we get together next time. I do look forward to talking to you next time, and I look forward to continuing to walk closer with Jesus as we walk through Simplify.